Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. If you love staying up to date with the latest music industry drama, you've come to the right place. Today, we're diving into the recent feud between Cardi B and Joe Budden. Let's break it down. So it all started when Joe Budden, on his podcast, made some bold claims about Cardi B. He said we'd never see another album from her after her debut, Invasion of Privacy. According to him, Cardi is now just a singles artist. Ouch! He didn't stop there. Budden also suggested that Cardi's husband, Offset, must be frustrated, likening Cardi to a partner who needs to get back to work. Pretty harsh, right? Cardi B wasn't having any of it. She took to X spaces to fire back. She claimed she gave Budden a lap dance during her stripper days and accused him of being high on cocaine at the time. I have also never gotten a lap dance from this lady. Bro, I gave you a lap dance two times and fucking started. You was high as fuck. High as fuck on coke, nigga. Smell that coke through your breath. That's one thing. Second of all, and, and actually, that's not even nothing to brag about. Second of all, you're like, I will never talk about this, 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 and that. I don't give a fuck when people talk shit about, talk about me. It's just the fact that you always talk shit about me, Joe Biden. You always talk shit about me. Out of nowhere. You would think I did something to this nigga out of nowhere. For the past two years, this nigga have only talked bad things about me. Bad things about me. Constantly. Why? Because you got an interview? And the fact about it is that you don't even have to do that. Because I bet I know for a fact, bitches, is not telling you to do that. You just do that to pander. Like if I did something to you. All the time. I got to connect in Atlantic. I got to connect in... No, the fuck you don't. Nigga really sat here in December saying that I fucking got into it with my husband because this ain't my little boyfriend, nigga. This ain't my no fucking baby daddy, nigga. This ain't nigga I've been married for seven years, nigga. Oh, yeah, she did that for a publicity stunt because this and that drop. Nigga, what? Now is this girl. Now is this girl. Now I promise you, I can show you, I will never cuss this girl. Now I'm this girl. Now I'm Cardi B, the bitch you always talking shit about. I want to talk now, nigga. I've been giving you two years, sparing you for two years. Even when I call you out, I don't even disrespect you. You always try me. Always try me. Nigga, I ain't fucking Drake, nigga. I ain't going to fucking write no nice paragraph. I'm going to come at you. I'm going to shine that head of yours. I'm going to shine it, nigga. All the time. I ain't do shit to this nigga. She expressed her frustration, stating that Budden has been constantly criticizing her for no apparent reason. Cardi also defended Drake, whom Budden has also criticized. She pointed out that Joe seems to hate on successful artists and their achievements. She made it clear that she won't back down and will continue to pursue her passion. Not a quitter. You quit on your passion. You quit on your passion. I'm not going to quit, bro. That's the issue. That's the issue with you. You could you critique everybody. You critique every single body. And stop being a hater, bro. Stop being a fucking hater. If somebody got 400 million fucking dollars for a deal and you talk about, yeah, well, they got a tour, this, this, and that. For, nigga, I'll fucking tour till I'm 65 if somebody give me $400 million. $400 million that you don't have. Stop hating on everybody. Every, everything that somebody do good, you always hate on it. That's bad. That's terrible. You always hating on something, bro. You always hating on something. You always hating on something. It, 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 it sets you apart from being a critic, a critic, a critic from a hater. That's why sometimes I, I, I sometimes value academics' point of views because he would say mostly the truth than being a straight up hater. You be a hater. How you hating on a nigga got $400 million? Four hundred million dollars. I'll tour till I'm ninety, nigga. What are you talking about?
After Cardi's fiery response, Budden initially claimed he'd stop covering her music, but then issued a rare apology. He denied the lap dance and drug use claims, but admitted he just wants more music from Cardi, whose music he loves. Cardi had the last word, reassuring her fans that her album is coming this year. She thanked her supporters and promised that despite the drama, she couldn't be happier with the anticipation for her new music. And there you have it, folks. The latest saga in the ongoing drama between Cardi B and Joe Budden. What do you think about their feud? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.